Hey guys, it's Reggie uh, over here at Aquarium Fish House in Corpus Christi, Texas. And what I want to talk about is uh, hot rotting your power filters. So, you can see, we got power filters on a lot of our tanks. Same with over here. I want to talk about how you can make these filters better and cheaper to run since if we can see this here filters running the uh, not a standard little filter cartridges you know we have all seen them And what my other ones are running is actually sponges. So we got a coarse and a fine sponge in this tank, as well as that one over there. And what's cool about it? Go ahead and just I can the water's pretty clear. Alright, except for some leftover stuff from the almond leaves down there at the bottom. This tank looks pretty good. Uh, most of our smaller tanks, and some of the bigger ones, we run just your standard sponge filter. You know, on all of them. Pretty much all of them. You know, and then a couple we got some uh, aqua clears on. What I don't like about the aqua clears, especially the smaller ones, it seems like no matter how much you clean that thing, you gotta clean it again two days later. So, just go ahead and grab a bucket here. Let's take out those old cartridges. It's gonna make a mess, as you see, I already played with it. Now we got all this junk in there floating around. Alright. Go ahead and just grab a bucket. And some sponges. We got a coarse sponge, black one. Green one is a fine sponge. All you really need for this is scissors and of course sponges. Set you all up right there for a second while I get these sponges they stock cartridges that come with the tank or with your filter. I think it made quite a mess pulling that out of there. It's all right though, we'll clean it up here. So, I had some leftover sponge, I'm gonna see if it'll work, but it doesn't look like it, so I'm just gonna have to cut some new ones. Just set it on there. You know, ideally you wanna do this with a brand new tank. Um, brand new cartridges if you have them, though. Especially if you got a brand new filter, the carbon might 
might not be a bad thing just in case you're cycling and things like that but otherwise I don't use carbon at all uh, it's only good for removing meds otherwise you let it sit in there and then if you leave it in there too long it just releases all that nasty stuff right back into your tank again and you end up with some kind of nasty spike grab my scissors See if I can get you somewhere set up. And we're just gonna cut it out. Now for this hang on the back we have, we're gonna have to cut out two of them. So you can cut it out rough, it doesn't have to be perfect. Because the sponge will you know, bend and it's flexible and stuff, so. A little bit bigger is a little bit better. That way, it'll fit in nice and tight. I'll just go ahead and cut this other side. Okay, so now we got two of them. That's our fine sponge. And now we just need to repeat it on the other side. Again, just a rough cut, a little bit bigger than what you actually need. A little bit bigger is better than a little bit smaller, otherwise it'll fit in there really loose and you won't get a nice tight fit like you want inside your hang on the bag. So, got our two pieces of our course and our fine. Now, what you want to do climb back up here. It's a 90 gallon tank, so it is pretty tall on this stand we have. What you want to do is you see the water comes in right here, flows around, and then comes back out. You want to put your course sponge towards the incoming water. So take your sponge with the little, you now it's got the little divots. You wanna put that out with your fine sponge right behind it. And you just come up here. And you just slide them in. Do the same thing with the other side again, of course, towards the incoming water and the fine on the side that the water comes out on. You just want to take that and again, just stuff it in there. Right. So you end up with something that looks like that. down all the way. And we'll just go ahead and put our lid back on. Save you a lot of money. Uh, we have sponges here, but I think I'm just about out. We sell quite a lot of them. But if not, you can get them on Amazon. They're like $24, I think, with... Uh, you get a coarse, a medium, and a fine. And I just use the coarse and the fine. And that way it doesn't overflow or stop up the tank. So now it is a little messy because, you know, we just took out the dirty cartridges. But it won't take long for that to clear up and look like this. over to see Tex, see if he'll come out. I don't know if he'll come out or not. He's pretty shy. He's a wild caught Costa Rican dovi. So he is a little shy towards people. But he's starting to warm up. You know, he just made the switch finally to pellets and we still give him some live minnows on occasion, stuff like that, there he comes. There we go, 
guys. But yeah, that's how to hot rod, or how I do it anyway. Uh, I wouldn't really call it hot rodding, it doesn't really increase any of your gallons, but it will save you some money on those, well, I call them dumb cartridges. Sponges, they'll last a very long time. All you got to do to clean them is take them out, rinse them off in some tank water while you're doing a water change. You know, just wipe them, rinse them off, shake them out in the water, slap them back in, and that's it. All right, I'm out of here, guys.